welcome back to Tech Minded, where we help you get more from tech. And today we're going to be going over a few little things that I made on my 3D printer to try to get better audio out of my YouTube videos. So if you've watched my videos for a while, you've seen this lapel mic that I have on my shirt. Um, I wear that in many of my videos and it's a really cheap way to get good audio for your videos. But the hassle is that I have to record it directly to my cell phone, which I use as my audio recorder. And then when I go to post-processing and editing, I have to sync up the audio and video. It's not a huge hassle, but it's not ideal. Um, you see a lot of professionals that use a nice grade DSLR camera that has a microphone input. Typically, I film my videos with this Sony RX100. It's the old version, so it doesn't have any microphone inputs. Um, it's a good quality camera, but it still has the same issue that I have with the audio. So what I wanted to do here was see if I could get my own shotgun microphone, just like the professionals use. I know if you've watched any of Casey Neistat's videos or I mean, I, you could name any professional YouTuber and there's going to be a shotgun mic in their setup. A lot of vloggers use it. Um, it's just, it's the microphone that sits on top of the camera and it basically uses a chamber, an echo chamber, I believe it's called, or uh, you know what, we're going to go with the echo chamber. Uh, or resonation chamber, something like that. Anyways, I'm not a, a pro audio guy here. Uh, but basically, instead of taking in the sound, this is just a regular lapel mic without the windscreen. Instead of taking in the sound from all directions, this has a way of taking in the sound and sort of filtering out the things that you don't want as much. Maybe somebody better at audio can explain it in the comments. I don't know. Uh, this is not a highly scientific uh, production, I guess as you already know, if you've seen my channel before. But my goal here was to make a nice shotgun microphone that looked decent and was functional. So I opened up Fusion 360 and began designing. I used a few examples I've seen online. It's not a really complex design, but I basically started out with this. This was my first model. And there's a time lapse that I made of it 3D printing. But once it came out, you can see it's very small. If I hold it up to my hand, it's just, it's very small even compared to the mic that was on it. And so I set it up, basically the way that the, my idea for this was to take the regular lapel microphone that I use, just like the one on my shirt, and pull the windscreen off. And I wanted to be able to stick it inside a tube. That way it could still pick up the sound inside the tube or the resonation chamber or echo chamber or whatever you want to call it. So, this was my first design. I believe it was 10 millimeters around. I had to even melt it a little bit to get the mic to fit in perfectly. But it did fit. Unfortunately, it did not work. And I'm not sure if you can get it to focus on that, but uh, the design looked okay, but it looked a little bit ridiculous sitting on top of the camera like this. Um, and add to that the fact that it didn't work. So, we scratched that design and moved on. I upgraded in size, obviously, and the big difference here, as you can see on the back, is that the microphone still fits in there. If you're wondering what this is, it's just a little bit of packing tape that I put around here to make it a tight seal, because you can use something like uh, hot glue or something, but I didn't want to make it um, a permanent seal just yet. But if I insert it into there, it's a really tight fit, and it goes in and stays centered in there, as you can see. Now what I was saying was the plastic is thicker in the chamber. That way it doesn't allow as much echo inside of there. So the audio goes in through the front or the sides and then it's picked up by the mic as it would be initially. So that's basically the setup for that. And then I found that in my testing this V2 or second version of this actually worked fairly well. Um, I reached out to Rode and Tascam Tried to get any of them to send me something professional to test against, but they did not want to. Uh, I even offered to send it back, but they weren't interested. Can't really blame them. Uh, maybe one day I'll have something fancy like a Rode, uh, whatever the, you know, the one that goes on the camera is. But since I'm broke, I still wanted my nice little shotgun mic to go on the camera. So what I did was went back into Fusion 360 and I modeled a little mount. Now this is a GoPro style mount. It's specced the same size as the GoPro equipment. So it should fit right into your GoPro. Um, 
connector, I guess, for lack of a better term. And you might be able to see some of the little stringiness in there. That's just from my printer. Um, but basically, once you mount this up, the microphone just snaps right into there. And so you've got that, you know, in this, what's called a shock mount, which I don't know. See, I don't have a real one to test it against, so I don't know. But I do know this is flexible just a bit. So this is not a very heavy mic, so it's not really going to go anywhere. Um, but you can see how it goes together there. So it's really easy to print. I mean, you print this standing up, obviously, and then this piece right here takes 45 minutes to print. So it's very simple and they're all printed in PLA. And today, right before making this video, I decided that I wanted to try out one of these, which I believe is called a hot foot in uh, the camera world, but it slides on top of the camera, as you can see here. Um, and I wanted it to be on top of the camera so I could be like the pros, you know, because they have their microphone on top of the camera. And again, it just snaps into there. So whenever you're sitting here talking to the camera, then the microphone can pick up your voice directly. So now that I've explained to you how we made it, I'm going to go ahead and do a few demos and we're going to test this out and compare it to my lapel mic and then compare it to the camera mic and see what kind of uh, difference it makes. All right, guys, this might be a little blurry. I don't know. It's starting to rain. Came outside to test this mic and of course it's terrible lighting and it's raining. So we're gonna take it back inside and give this a test. I just wanted to step out. I'm maybe five feet from the camera right now. Not gonna get soaked. Uh, as you can see, this is the voice coming through the lapel mic and what it sounds like coming through the shotgun mic. So with that little simple test, tell me what you think. And let's go back inside where we can test this, hopefully not have an echo. Uh, that's what I was trying to avoid by coming out here. All right, guys. So we had to come back in because of the weather, of course. So we're testing the shotgun mic against my lapel mic right now. There's going to be a little echo in this room that I can't really help because this is not set up for audio and video, even though that's what I do in here most of the time. Um, so there's going to be some echo. I'm sitting maybe three to four feet away from the camera, a little further than arm's length would be if I was recording this video holding it. The camera's sitting on a tripod, obviously. And the voice that you're hearing right now is coming from this lapel mic. Now, we're gonna do a few things. First, you can hear me talking. This is, I'm talking normal. I'm not yelling uh, or anything like that. I'm not even speaking up. This is how I would talk in a normal conversational setting. And this is how the test will be done. So mainly, I'm just going to go through a little, um, so basically I'm just going to do the uh, intro to the channel and we're going to compare it between the different mic setups. So here we go. First we have the lapel mic. Welcome back to Tech Minded where we help you get more from tech. Okay. Now we're going to go and try the shotgun mic. Here's the audio from the shotgun mic that I 3D printed. Welcome back to Tech Minded, where we help you get more from tech. Last, I'm gonna take the lapel mic and I'm gonna move it to the camera stand, or the tripod, I guess, because I want you to see how effective the shotgun mic is at gathering the directional audio. So basically, I'm just gonna take this microphone off of my collar, I'm gonna clip it on to the camera right there beside the shotgun mic. And I want you to hear how improved the sound is by using the shotgun mic because it is directional instead of being picking up all the sound in the room. So let me do that real quick and then we're gonna try it out. All right, now I'm sitting the same distance, three to four feet, a little further from arm's length. And we're gonna try, well, you're already hearing it because that's all I've got. So you're hearing the audio from the lapel mic. And we're gonna do lapel mic. Shotgun mic. Lapel, lapel mic. Shotgun mic. Lapel, lapel mic. Shotgun mic. How's that for a comparison? Did you hear any difference? 
Would you like to try it for yourself? If so, check the description and download the Thingiverse link so you can print this out on your printer at home. All right, well, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I hope this helped you out or at least gave you an idea of what you can do. Um, the 3D printer has really been a handy thing for me to have around. And these files are all going to be available to you for free. If you just look down in the description below, I'll have a link to the Thingiverse page where you can download all of these. Uh, well, it's actually just going to be the V2 and then the mounts because that's what I found works best. And I'm also going to leave a link below for these microphones. So thanks for watching the video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this project. Also, if you've got an idea for a project that I need to do in the future, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here so you don't miss my next video. And I'll see you then.